Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Liam here and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today. So this video is actually going to be a little bit different than my usual automotive content. We're actually doing a little bit of a gaming setup slash room tour video today. I haven't actually made one of these in almost around a year. No, it's been like 10 months now I want to say, but I usually make these at least once a year. Sometimes a little bit more depending on if my setup changes a lot throughout the year. But honestly, my setup really has been very similar to the old one for a while now. So that's why I haven't really made a video on it. But make sure to leave a like if you enjoy my setup and subscribe for more videos. Also, guys, we are about to move out of this apartment. Come July 1st, sometime around then, me and three other homies are looking for a house. And so there's going to be some super sick videos to come at that place. Also, a new gaming setup at that place too. So stay tuned for that. If you guys are interested in getting a house tour slash gaming setup in the new house when we move, then make sure to hit that thumbs up. I've literally been making videos like this for straight up eight years since I was a 13 year old. So you better believe that I'm gonna keep making these probably on a year to year basis just to keep you guys in the loop of what is going on with my setup and like what I'm edit using to edit and using to like make my thumbnails and all that stuff and just game and stuff. I don't really make tons of gaming content anymore like I used to, but I do wanna start streaming and making some gaming content over on my second channel that I've talked about a few times. I just don't have all the time in the world to sit down and play games like I used to and record and make videos every day. So I, I want to, but it's just not feasible right now with everything that I have going on. But regardless, we'll make this gaming setup video and show you all what is up with my gaming setup. Here it is, look at the gaming setup. We got the triple monitor mount set up with the TV above it. I absolutely am in love with this setup, guys. I, I've had a lot of this equipment for a few years now, but I finally got my setup looking super clean to the point where I really don't know what else I'd change, to be honest with you. I really may be turning these monitors um, vertical. That might be the only real difference that I might ever make in the future to my setup, but honestly, it's super easy to do that. So um, yeah, I just, the triple monitor set up with the TV above. So I'll give you guys a little rundown of these monitors here. We got the Asus I Don't Remember and the Asus I Don't Remember 2. Both are 1080p and 60, uh, 60 hertz, yes. Um, this one is actually a 280 hertz 1080p monitor. So um, yeah, it isn't a 4K monitor, so I don't get the game in 4K, but 280 hertz, man, there's nothing that beats this. Even having, having a 60 hertz, I used to play on these monitors, right? Go, jumping from this to this is literally, it feels like I started hacking when I play video games. That's literally how smooth the game feels. I've never played a game at such good quality and good refresh rate until I got this monitor. So I'm super happy with the monitor. I also have made a little unboxing on it as well. So if you guys wanna check that video out, make sure to go. It's one of my most recent videos. You could probably find it pretty easily. Got some lights set up back here. They're definitely not the best. I don't really like LED strips just because they always tend to fall down unless you put them up in a way different way than, than it has you do uh, standardly. So I just got these basic dome light. I don't even know this one's a dome light, but it just blinds the wall. Um, and then this is just a small little other light. I honestly really don't use these much. Yeah, it's a little nice like ambient lighting to the background if I have, or I have my computer on and sitting in the dark and stuff. Like, let's see what it looks like without the lights on. Boom, it's a little area, I love it. So I also added these little foam pieces up here. They're not really doing all too much. I don't really think they're gonna help me drown out my echo, but it looks cool and it makes my setup pop a little bit with the black and red as well as the chair, it matches all of that. So I'm really just digging the uh, the black and red on the, on the wall. I definitely wanna buy some more foam pieces in the future, but I just got these for my friend for, he just gave them to me, so I was super happy about that. So set this up. Sorry, the cable management really is not horrible when you look at it. From up here, you really aren't seeing much unless you look into that corner over there or you look vaguely underneath here, but you know, it's not horrible, but I'm about to be moving, so I, I kinda, it was really good when I first got my setup set up, and then as I continued to add more random stuff to it, the mess just got worse and worse. So honestly, I'm just gonna leave it how it is now. It's fine, it's not really getting in my way. And when I move to the new house, the setup is just gonna look like this hopefully, but pretty much just extremely neater with all these cables. So yeah, 
Um, I do have these monitors on a triple monitor mount. I'll show you guys back here. I definitely highly recommend getting one of these if you want to save a lot of desk space. So as you can see, I really only have my keyboard and my mouse pad and your, my, my mouse on here. And then this thing connects to, it like clamps underneath the desk, right? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, it like clamps back here underneath the desk. So that's super nice. And it saves a lot of space. When I used to have three monitors, without this monitor mount, I'd have all the stands right here. And so it was really hard to fit everything on my desk, if that makes sense. So like, see how this hangs over the edge here? It actually fits really well, The like the entire real estate of this desk. Like my PC just set, sits perfectly over here on the edge. So do have this iPad here. It is not mine, it's my girlfriend's, but Definitely want to start playing some Clash of Clans and make videos on that for gaming stuff soon. So stay tuned and maybe that stuff will be coming up on the second channel. Um, down here we do have the Nintendo Switch in the Xbox, what is that, the One Slim, right? <laughs> I think so. Um, yeah, the Xbox One S. And then I do have a PS4 as well, but it's just, it's at my girlfriend's place right now. We got a bunch of controllers up here, PS4, PS5, Xbox One. Dude, we got controllers all over the place. And then we got the uh, we got the Blue Yeti microphone. I've had this microphone for a while now. Just a basic USB microphone. It's really not bad, but I honestly don't need it for anything more than, like I don't need to buy an XLR mic or whatever, or what is it? I don't even know if it's an XLR mic anymore. I don't remember the name. I really don't see the need for it because I'm really not working super hard with audio for anything. I just need it to sound good and clear. And, does the job and this pop filter looks sick so also this boom arm is red so that's also sick this is probably the dumbest thing in my setup just because i'm blocking my radiator fans i don't want to put this on the desk because there's literally no more room well there is but like i like having my desk clean so it's fine just leave it there and we got some external hard drives here um this is the corsair hs70 headset i do really like it it's wireless however you can see it's kind of coming apart I don't know if you can see on camera. Yeah, it's kind of ripping apart, but I've been using it a lot. This is my Samsung, what, 40 inch TV? It's like a 1080p. It's actually 120 hertz, I forgot about that. It, I, for some reason I thought it was 60, but I think it's actually 120 hertz, so that's sick. And we've got a Razer keyboard and a Razer mouse, kind of, I don't know, they're fine. I've used them for years and I just don't feel like buying new ones, so. It does the job, it, uh, I'm not freaking sitting, I'm not a pro gamer, so come on, it's, it doesn't matter. I've got a little Corsair mouse pad. I used to have a big mouse mat, but I actually like this better because I have more real estate on the mouse pad to play like PC games and stuff. That actual long mouse mat, yes, it was nice because my keyboard was on it, but I really didn't have much room to move my mouse around. And now with this, I have like this whole area. So I really like this mouse pad a lot better. And yeah, other than that, we really will start moving on to the new stuff. So we got, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. I'm sure you guys have seen me do the unboxings on my channel of these two. Yeah, I mean, these new consoles are something else, man. The PS5 is, say, I, that's, I definitely am loving the PS5 right now. I haven't really gotten to play too much with the Xbox yet, but definitely I'm gonna be testing them out, both out in videos in the future on the channel. Oh, what's something else I forgot? I did forget this Logitech webcam. It is just the C920. I really don't have like a DSLR camera setup. I don't really need it because if I want to record like really super good quality video, then I'll just use my actual like handheld Canon G7X. That works just good enough for me. And then we have this chair right here. I believe it was like 150 bucks. I got it from like Staples or something, but it's just a black and red chair. It's pretty comfortable. It's definitely more comfortable than this thing. This thing's like crappy. Yeah, no, definitely don't want to be sitting on this. So, all right. So if you guys are interested in the PC specs, I'm going to read them off to you. I don't know. Do I even know them anymore off the top of my head? I built this PC like before coming to college back in 2018. So I'm honestly not 100% sure of the specs off the top of my head. I know that there's 32 gigs of RAM. I know that there's a 1080 Ti. Uh, I want to say it's either an 8700K or a 9600K as the processor, two completely different generations, but I don't really remember which uh, which one I ended up buying at the time. Then I got an NZXT CPU cooler in there and I got a decent amount of SSD as well. So, you know, the setup's really nice. I really just wanted a clean setup. And also this is my college apartment, guys. <laughs> I have all this stuff in my college apartment, so Yes, I got lucky with the size of my room. Not everybody gets this crazy big room with this walk-in closet. Oh yeah, also, look at this green screen right here. I don't really use it that much, but I really should. Um, 
But yeah, so I have this super awesome room and my setup actually used to be over here in this corner and I used to just have it on this desk and there's just two monitors over there. Um, I don't know, I just didn't really like that setup and so I ended up bringing more monitors from home and yeah, the TV and got it all set up over here. This foot hammock, man, is insane. I love this thing, look. Check that out. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. We're about to hit 2.7K, yep. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for more videos, and I'm definitely gonna be making more videos like this in the future again. I just like making gaming setup stuff, because I'm a nerd. Deep down, like, I have all this stuff because I'm literally a nerd. Like, I'm majoring in IT. I used to, I was majoring in CS before, but now I'm majoring in IT, and I've just, I've been a nerd since I was a kid. It might not look like that when you see me, but dude, trust me, I'm the biggest nerd you'll ever meet. So yeah, that's all I've got for you guys for this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and that's all I've got for you guys. Peace out.